There's one more feature I would like to show you, which is the properties of a particular item within source control. For example, the trunk. Let's right click and choose properties. Here you see four tabs, general status, security and branch. Let's click on the branches one. Here I can see that my trunk has existing branches and it even tells me where those branches are. Now, this is the branch that we created. However, there are two more branches listed here. Branches that I created previously, but have already deleted. This is an important aspect to remember. In Team System Source Control, nothing ever really gets deleted. In order for me to view deleted items, and even possibly bring them back again, I would have to do the following. Let's go to Tools and Options. Under Options, find your Source Control option for Visual Studio Team Foundation Server. In here, there is a checkbox called Show Deleted Items in Source Control Explorer. Let's check that and click OK. Now you see deleted items. Notice that my other two branches are here. In order for me to bring those guys back, I could simply right click and choose undelete. This is an important concept to understand. The reason why Team System Source Control does not physically ever delete anything is for the sake of history, to preserve the history and preserve traceability. And under normal circumstances, you really don't want to see everything that's been deleted. Let's go ahead and uncheck that again. Options, Source Control, Visual Studio Team Foundation Server option, and uncheck Show Deleted Items in the Source Control Explorer. Click OK. Done. Another thing I would like to show you is, for example, on a specific file, let's say you do not want anybody to make changes to my solution file. I can do so in two ways. I can lock the file and prevent others from checking it out or checking it in. Or I can right click on it, properties, and go to security settings. Under security settings, I have the option to expressively deny certain team groups, such as project administrators, or in this case, contributors, to check in a file. I have now managed to remove explicitly deny checking capabilities for anybody on my team that is in the contributors team system group. 